guys, in this lesson I'm going to show you another vector exam question. So here's the triangle ODC. We know that O is the origin, okay, just here. OT is equal to 2TD. That just means the length of the line OT, so here, is twice the length of TD, okay, so this part here. So it's double the distance, okay? I've just drawn a line along here, okay, just to show that this is two parts and this is one part okay so it's double the distance m is the midpoint of tc so that just means m is halfway along the line tc and then finally we've got the vectors o to c is equal to vector c and o to d is equal to vector d so these weren't already on the diagram so i suggest you draw these onto the diagram so here's vector c Remember, there's an arrow to go with the vector because the direction is important. We're going from O towards C. Okay, so the arrow is pointing this way, okay, because we're traveling from left to right. And then for OD, here's vector D, and we're traveling this way, okay, so the arrow is pointing upwards. So we have to find the position vector of M. Now, the position vector of M just means from the origin to M. Okay, O is the origin, so we're working out O, M. Firstly, you need to decide what direction you're going to take to get to M. Now, it doesn't matter whether you travel this way or this way. As long as you simplify your answer, you should get the same thing. I'm going to travel uh, via T, so this way. Okay, so I'm going to start by stating the direction. So I'm going to start by traveling along O, T. And then, finally, from T to M. So, O to T, we can already work this vector out. Remember, this whole line from O to D is vector D. And O to T is two parts out of three along that line. So, it's two-thirds of the way along that line. Okay? So, that means it's two-thirds of vector D. Okay, so that's the first part. Notice how we're traveling in the correct direction with this arrow. If we had been traveling in the opposite direction, against the direction of this arrow, this would have become negative. All right, now T to M. M is the midpoint. Remember, this is halfway along the line TC. So I'm going to replace TM by saying it's halfway along TC. Okay, so I haven't worked out the vector yet. I'm just stating that it's halfway along this line because I need to work out what TC is to be able to work out TN, okay? There are no vectors labeled along this line. I have to travel this way, okay, to get from T to C. So, I'm just gonna write that down again. So to work out TC, we need to travel this way, okay? I can't travel this way because there isn't a vector labeled on this line, okay? Likewise, there's no vector on here. So I need to travel this way. So to get from T to C, I need to travel negative two thirds D, okay? So it's the same as what I wrote down before, but because we're traveling against the arrow, it becomes negative. So negative two thirds D plus C. Okay, because we're traveling in the correct direction. So that is T to C. Now we have to expand the, uh, the brackets and simplify, okay, to get full marks. So if I multiply a half by negative two thirds, I get negative two over six, which is a fraction that can be simplified to negative a third. So this becomes negative a third d and then a half multiplied by c is half c and we can simplify again because we have two d terms okay two thirds d take away a third d is one third d and there's only one c term so this just stays the same so it's a half c okay so there's the answer a third d plus a half c and it doesn't matter whether you write it like that or the other way around, a half C plus a third D, it's exactly the same thing.